Hello, and welcome to the GRACE podcast series. My name is Denise Brock, and I am the Operations Director for the Global Resource for Advancing Cancer Education, or GRACE. In this podcast series, we interview patients, advocates, and healthcare professionals to provide the most updated information for our community and to highlight important issues facing those dealing with a cancer diagnosis. We hope you find this information valuable. For questions or comments, please visit us at cancergrace.org. I talked a little about mutations and I want to clarify what, what does that mean? So when we say that tumor has a mutation, a lot of family members and patients are worried. Is this something that I got from my parents? And is this something that I'm going to transfer to my children? So, so to clarify that, most mutations that we talk about in lung cancer are somatic mutations and are not germline mutations. So what does that mean? Somatic mutations are mutations that happen in our body because of over years of different kind of exposures. There are different what we call hits, uh, things that happen after birth that are causing certain changes in your cells and lead to the formation of cancer. So what that means is that is not a mutation you were born with, and that is not a mutation you're going to pass on to your children. So if you have cancer with somatic mutations, which most of the mutations we see um, that have treatment options are somatic mutations. So to not be worried about whether or not you are uh, passing that to someone else in your family. Germline mutations are important to know as well. While they are not as prevalent in lung cancer, we're, we're finding more and more that there might be some mutations that you might be born with, something that you were passed down uh, or you will be passing down. Those are mutations that um, you essentially you had it, it's present in every cell in your body, it is inherited, and those you could potentially pass on to your children. And if, if we do find evidence of germ, germline mutations, we often ask our patients to go in for genetic counseling and, and to see what other further testing they need to undergo. But in lung cancer, most of the mutations that the doctors talk about is somatic mutations. But if you're worried, it's always helpful to bring that up as a question to make sure that you don't need genetic counseling. Thank you again for joining us. This podcast was made possible by the generosity of sponsorship from our friends at Lilly and Exalexis. Please like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Send us feedback, share your story, donate and visit us for more information at cancergrace.org. Thank you for listening.